Hey guys, it's Hink here. So today we're going to be discussing something that's really a hidden benefit of like penile enlargement that honestly doesn't get talked about a lot because I, I just don't think many people know about. It. And it sounds like I'm one of those like, oh, this one simple trick or doctors hate this guy. But there's actually legit re research. And I think a lot of you guys will actually be surprised. Part of what got me going down this pathway is that I would constantly see people talking about like, oh man, like my erection quality has really improved since I started doing PE. And really any of it, whether it be pumping, clamping, stretching, a lot of people notice like, and I think that's actually part of the, the newbie gains that we call is actually the improvement in erection quality. That always had me thinking. And then I've been doing a lot of research looking at the use of extenders. And one of the things that kept coming up was improvements in erection quality. And they actually started to discuss a pathway that got me going. And so I'm going to discuss a couple quotes here from studies. Now this is looking at extenders and actually like penile elongation using extenders. Take this for example. The overall study findings of improved erection function are surprising and consistent with those observed during the randomized trial. Statistically significant improvements were noted among all categories of men with erectile dysfunction, including mild, moderate, and severe findings with a minimal clinical significant threshold of 61% of men overall, or whatever it says. And so that's one study that actually shows definitive statistically significant improvement in erection quality. And guys, here's another completely separate study looking at the use of extenders once more. Improvements in erectile function were also observed in a randomized control evaluating the efficacy of penile traction therapy in men with Peyronie disease as with the current study, improvements achieved the minimally clinically significant threshold and provided further support, further supporting evidence for an impact of therapy on erection function. And so I wanted to dive deep into this and figure out the actual mechanism for why that's the case. And guys, I found it. So briefly, we need to discuss the actual pathway for erectile function, guys, and it's based on nitric oxide. And I'm going to have Kelly put up a picture here. And guys, Kelly does such good work. So if you if you have a second, you know, click on the little QR code that you know he'll put up on the screen. But that supports him directly. He gets a hundred percent of that money, and you in return get twenty six k wallpapers, guys. So if you if you want to support us, you want to support us with what we do, you know, please please follow those instructions. But what we're talking about here is nitric oxide pathway, guys. And so in this chart, you can see that you have the actual nerve. And so a lot of people don't realize that actually a lot of the nitric oxide is actually released by the actual nerves of the penis as a result result of sexual stimuli. So you get your nitric oxide release and that starts all of these pathways, which actually leads to the smooth muscle relaxation, which then in turn leads to an erection. So guys, bottom line is nitric oxide is what's essential for actually starting the erectile process and it's essential for actual penile health. So what does PE or what do extenders, what does this have to do with erectile function? Well, guys, there's actually published literature showing that the stretch stimulus within basically the penile tissue actually triggers the nitric oxide process. And that is what they found in these studies that leads to the actual improvement in erection quality using basically penile enlargement techniques. So for example, there's this study here, which is actually looking at the actual pathway by which the stretch stimulus actually leads to a boost in the nitric oxide. This is in the venous endothelial cells, but guys, you're, the endothelium, there's basically it's just the lining of the blood vessel, but it's crucial in the actual penile tissue. And guys, I've talked about it so much and how it's so important for penile function and penile health and that's literally why I developed vigor to support that endothelial function which is great for your penile health erection quality preventing injuries recovering from injuries but also it's important for workouts guys like I'm you know Hink's finally starting to get back into shape and you know of course I take this every day this actually shows the actual me mechanism of like the PKA and the AKT pathways of how nitric oxide is actually produced through the endothelial stretch response. So if you're a much higher level scientist than I am and you want to dig deep into that and understand those specific pathways, more power to you guys, but I'm not going to do that today. And so guys, here's another paper and what it's looking at is actual the endothelial stress response. And this response is actually talking about like shear stress, which is essentially like the stress from the pressure, basically arterial pressure or pressure inside the actual vascular chamber, but it still signals that stretch response because you have actually more pressure in there. And what it shows, and this was actually pretty interesting, it was done using both MRI and ultrasound and actually showing the dilation that occurs as a response to the stress stimulus. And you can see that in this chart here, which if you look at the shear stress along the x-axis, you can see the actual change in diameter, meaning more dilation 
occurs with, with a higher stretch stimulus. So guys, to me, it's extremely important to understand that it's not just, you know, some like magical thing like, oh, I wonder if it's just newbie gains why I have a better erection quality. Like, no, there's actual physiology explaining why there's the improvement in erection quality. And we can see that in these studies here actually explaining the science behind it. And um, guys, there are more studies, but I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit more brief. And so if you appreciate this kind of shorter format where we still take deep dives into science, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment saying, you know, we like, yes, Hink, we like the shorter content or actually Hink, we like when your videos are closer to 15 minutes long. So guys, what are my important conclusions from these studies? Well, number one, the actual stretch stimulus, whether it be extending manual stretches, hanging, clamping, pumping, whatever it may be, is actually going to trigger a response within the actual endothelial tissues in your penis to actually release more nitric oxide and to actually improve erection quality. So that's why you can oftentimes see an improvement in erection quality. And if you're doing PE the correct way, you should see an improvement in erection quality. In my opinion, guys, there's clear evidence that we've talked about today, clearly explaining why that's the case. And guys, I want to leave you with this quote here, okay? It is important to note that the exact mechanism is unknown. There's clear evidence as to these different pathways, but it's not like this has ever been like done in a randomized trial in penile tissue proving that these are the exact mechanisms. So that is important to know. But the quote says, potential explanations could include tensile force mediated release of nitric oxide so actually releasing more nitric oxide and then the upregulation of the actual process that makes more nitric oxide, which is the nitric oxide synthase, as demonstrated in animal models and in human vascular studies or diminished fibrosis leading to lower rates of venous leak. Okay, guys. So there you have it. I thought this was very interesting. Now, if you want to maximize your endothelial function and your endothelial tissue, guys, I have researched and found only clinically proven supplements that are going to help with this. I have a paper that backs up every single ingredient. If we're talking about endothelial function, we've already discussed vigor, but of course I have my fortitude supplement, which has the horny goat weed, which if you haven't seen my video on that, it actually breaks down the, the exact physiology as to how exactly that and the other ingredients can actually improve endothelial function in the penis and improve nitric oxide synthase and nitric oxide regulation, as well as our shield supplement, guys. Both of those have... Well, all three of those have major ingredients that are going to help with nitric oxide production and the health of your penis. Now, if you just want to keep your penis healthy and minimize injuries, of course, we have our safeguard product as well. But guys, that's going to do it for me today. If you want to learn how to get bigger from me, I actually break down the science and I actually understand the physiology behind it. I'm not just making these like, oh, blanket statements, pull on pee, pee and it gets bigger. And I actually break down high and how and the science behind it. Then check out my enlargement course, guys. The course is linked down below in the description. I also have my course on Heart Flaccid if you're interested in that. But guys, I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. I can't thank you guys enough. Remember, there's nothing wrong with self-improvement, but you are enough just as you are. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace and love. Dr. Hink got the plug on the health, yeah. Got you thinking about your wealth, yeah. In his office, no.